the cool Thanks, off Tim. wherever you can. Good place to do it is in the surf. We think so. Check this out. Right, right, mate. Yep. Yeah, sweet. I'll be sweet, eh? Yeah, mate. No worries. They don't have real big teeth. Shark diving. Feel me rage. I'm in the cage. I've been. Yeah, hey, look at these turn around, don't you? Yeah, get this. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 <laughs> just, uh, yeah, we were just, well, it sort of went wrong for us on that one, for sure. So what were you doing, exactly? Because it, it looked like you had, like, a, a cocky cage, and you were doing something with it, and, and then <laughs> it, were all, it all went horribly wrong. Well, my brother said we were shooting for our website, and um, my brother said he had a B-grade shark dive for us, so we went off the tweed there, shark diving, and then we, had, he, we got out there and he had a budgie cage. <laughs> to um, jump in there just just for funny ones and yeah. it was hooked up to the line and then I jumped in at the end and then I just didn't feel right and then I was like I've got to get out of here and I was yelling out to the camera crew or you guys grabbed the cage and they just kept laughing and I turned around and then I seen the shark coming and then I just threw the the budgie cage in front of it and it just bounced off that not the smartest thing but yeah. um, <laughs> do you know what um, because the thing is, <laughs> look, I am torn on this because, mate, you guys, you guys are a bit of a laugh, and mate, when it's very funny to see you inside that cage. I don't know who would even think of doing some, something like this, um, but it's a, it's a funny visual. But then that happens, and mate, this thing could have taken off your leg, and it would have been a whole different scenario. Yeah, I know, but it didn't. But I was just lucky I had that budgie cage in front of me. So the, pretty much, yeah. How big was it, this shark? I was like six to eight foot tiger shark. And, um, yeah, pretty much my girl's not talking to me at the moment. Your wife? I'm pretty much in the doghouse. Your wife? And I'm pretty much, yeah, my wife. Yeah, what's yeah, she, what, okay, this, this is a test, right? This is a test. What did your wife say to you when she saw this vision and saw, <laughs> saw what you'd done? Oh, mate, she's still not talking to me. I've been in the doghouse since, since it happened. I'm thinking about renovating the doghouse at the moment and putting a pool table and everything because I'll probably be still in there. Doghouse? How big's your doghouse? It's pretty big, Carl. It's uh, one better with a nice little bit of space there. <laughs> You'll have to come over for a beer when I reno it. <laughs> Are you going to ever do this sort of... I mean, I know you... You and the Mad Hueys do some stuff, but is, is, are you going to stop doing like, I mean, man, I don't want to see someone of your character, fine character and fine humour, um, you know, get taken out by something like that. So you're going to sort of alter your plans in the future? Yeah, for sure. That was, yeah, that one didn't go too well, but I'm not sure. I can't promise anything, but we'll just keep plotting away and doing what we do and just have fun. It's the main thing. Can we just have a little listen, uh, a little listen to the moment when it happened? I just, I just want to have a little listen if we can, just before we move on. Sweet. I'll be sweet, eh? Yeah, mate. No worries. They don't have real big teeth. Have we got that scream? No. Look, what, what was going on with the scream? It wasn't the most manly of screams. I mean, we're Queenslanders. We encounter these tiger sharks every day of the week, and 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 that was your that was your reaction to this tiger shark. Mate, what's doing? No wonder your wife's upset with you. Checking you oh, out. no, mate. She's blowing. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Get this <laughs> <laughs> you went to a very high pitch, brother. A very high pitch. I <laughs> know. Oh, it's, it's a close call, but... Yeah. What do you do? Anyway, mate, she's going to drop you like a dead donkey any day now, your wife, and, uh, and, and we're all going to congratulate her. We look for, I look forward to having you a beer in your one-bedroom <laughs> doghouse very soon.
Thanks, Abmeet.